what's up this is uh extreme bass cowboy tommy red whatever you call it. so there's 175,000 miles on this car and i've never did a transmission flush and i was told you know i've always heard the tale of man if it ain't been changed don't change it because it'll mess up the transmission it'll start slipping or you know i've heard this i've heard that but I got to drop the pan anyway and put a new seal. I got the AC Delco uh, transmission filter and seal. So I could change the pan seal. And uh, I got to looking at videos online. And I was like, you know what? If that transmission's that bad off to where it's going to slip just from changing the fluid, then I'm, I'm on borrowed time anyway. So I'm going to go on and go for what I know. But I want to show you how the best way to do it on most most american cars i don't know about every car i can't lie to you but so what you'll do is i'm gonna keep it simple you're gonna take a flathead you're gonna take this radiator hose right here on the top the spillover hose is what i call it i don't know what it does whatever it's that hose you take it loose prop it up there my radiator was a little low so it didn't leak when i did it don't forget to put it back on though before the next step's done Come down here. You see that transmission line right there? Your transmission fluid goes right in there. In that line. You take it loose. Take some clear. Go get the half inch clear vinyl plastic tubing. It's half inch outer diameter. Three eighths inner diameter. And once you take that line loose, you just screw it on like you would i've already started the process and when you get done doing that put this hose back on like i did and you have you feed the line down up under the car or outside the car if you want i just went straight down with mine hold on and i'll show you this is my transmission fluid bro look at that That's crazy. Look how dark that is, bro. That's the reflection of the bucket, not up under it. That shit look like motor oil, burnt motor oil. So anyway, you feed the line up under, put it into a bucket, make sure it's on there tight now. Make sure you seal all the hose back up. You come right here. And you crank the car up. Now look. That clear tube ain't too, that tube ain't clear no more. You know why? Cause it's all coming out it was starting to get hectic hold on look at that wow you talking about dirty bro that is some dirty transmission fluid buddy I mean that is crazy Uh, to be honest, I need to be holding it, so I'm going to pause the camera and holding it while it's draining. But do you see that? That is crazy, man. Jeez. That stuff is nasty. Wow. But anyway, and once you're done with that, when you take that pan off under there, 
you're going to want to get you a cardboard piece of cardboard and draw out the shape of your pan and every bolt you take out you're going to put it in that template you know why because all the bolts are the same size but you want to put each bolt back into the exact same slot trust me i know what i'm talking about same bolt same hole same bolt same hole i know they're the same size why would you do that they're all the same size they all thread in the same okay when that thing starts leaking, you'll remember what I said. Template, bolts, same hole, clear tubing, half inch outer diameter, three eighths inner diameter. Put it in there, crank the car, it's going to pump it for you. All right, I'm fixing to finish pumping fluid until I see it get red and I know I'm to the, you know, the good oil piece. I mean, transmission fluid piece.